the question is consider the row vectors v is equal to 1 comma 0 and w is equal to 2 comma 0 that is 2d vectors row vectors the rank of the matrix m is equal to 2 into b transpose into b plus 3 into w transpose w where the subscript where the superscript d denotes the transpose that is this is the superscript denotes transpose now the solution m is equal to 2 times transpose of a row vector means column vector that is 1 0 multiplied with v which is a row vector you can put comma or ignoring comma plus 3 times w transpose again row vector transpose becomes column vector that is 2 0 multiplied with row vector 2 g so this simplifies to 2 times here 2 into 1 2 rows 1 column here 1 into 2 finally it will be giving me 2 into 2 so how do you multiply 1 into 1 1 1 into 0 0 second row into first column 0 into 1 0 second row into second column just like matrix multiplication procedure 0 into 0 0 plus 3 times as above just like 2 into 2 4 2 into 0 0 0 into 2 0 0 into 0 so this simplifies to all these elements multiplied by 2 and all these 4 elements multiplied by 3 and correspondingly adding so 2 into 1 plus 3 into 4 simplifies to 14 remaining gives 0 so this is already O echelon form. Finding the rank of a matrix by determinant procedure, that is definition procedure, or reducing the matrix into row echelon form, that is elements below the diagonal 0, that is upper triangular form also, row echelon form. Since number of non zero rows. The last row is a zero row. First row is a non zero row. This is non zero element. Is one. Hence, therefore, rank of matrix M is one. So the answer is one. Accordingly, the option is D. This is end of the question. The question is the determinant of the matrix M shown below is M is equal to. 4 by 4 matrix 1 2 0 0 3 4 0 0 0 0 4 3 0 0 2 1 this question is from engineering mathematics from the topic algebra basics the topic that is determined the solution is so determinant m this is a 4 by 4 determinant 1 2 0 0 3 4 0 0 0 0 4 3 0 0 2 1 so generally up to 2 by 2 3 by 3 we have remembered well the procedure as well as the formula but whereas higher order determinants that is 4 by 4 5 by 5 there are two steps procedure uh, we are making the determinant into elements below the diagonal 0 or above the diagonal 0. That is, select a row or column, non zero row, and then non zero element. Make all other elements in that row or column zeros using elementary row operations or column operations, and then expand the determinant by the definition, which is uh, uh, nothing but. Uh, uh, procedure for higher order determinants or you can make the determinant that is the matrix into upper triangular or lower triangular matrix because the determinant of upper triangular matrix lower triangular matrix is the product of the diagonal elements okay either you can make in a row or column except one element remaining element zero then expand the determinant procedure or you can make upper triangular form lower triangular form that is upper triangular matrix lower triangular matrix so here uh, I want to make this is selecting the first row 
and you are uh, and select a row or column already existing more zeros that is an row or column containing more zeros better to select that row or column so select first row or first column also okay then select element to non zero element then apply the row operation that is when you are selecting the row apply column operations when you are selecting a column apply row operations opposite in so apply c2 changes to c2 minus 2c so we get a new 4 by 4 determinant first column no change second column changes 2 minus 2 into 1 0 4 minus 2 into 3 minus 2 0 0 remaining columns unchanged 0 0 4 2 0 0 3 one so now expand the determinant by first row because we already selected first row this and select the element one this one so using this expanding the determinant cofactor symbols you know that minus 1 whole power i plus a this one is this one belongs to first row i is equal to 1 first column j is equal to 1 so cofactor symbol that is minus 1 whole power i plus a is plus so after that in the same row the next elements these symbols are obtained by alternatively minus plus minus here yes, select the element one only element one select the first row and select element one okay make all other elements zero in the selected row that is already two elements zeros so we have to make this number two zero this number two is in the second column that's why i applied second column operation now determinant procedure what is determinant procedure sum of the products of the elements in a row or column with their corresponding co, co factors with their corresponding co factors is called determinant so this is equal to 1 into plus, that is plus 1, no change, 1 into this 1 is in first row, first column, delete them. You will be having a smaller order determinant, that is 3 by 3 determinant, minus 2, 0, 0, 0, 4, 3, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1. So now everyone knows that 3 by 3 determinant procedure minus 2 into deleting first column first row. The remaining 2 by 2 sub matrix determinant is 4 into 1 minus 3 into 2, 4 minus 6. So finally minus 2 into minus 2, 4. So the value of the determinant is 4. This is end of the question. The question is let u of t Denote the unit step function the bilateral Laplace transform of the function f of t is equal to e power t into u of minus t is. Four options A, B, C, D given. This question is from engineering mathematics from the topic Laplace transform. So bilateral Laplace transform is time domain t limits minus infinity to infinity. Unilateral Laplace transform means one-sided Laplace transform, either zero to infinity, etc. Solution. So we know that u of t, unit step function, is equal to zero if t values less than g. one if t values greater than or equal to g. 
which implies t is replaced by minus t, you will be getting q of minus t, which is equal to 0. If minus t less than 0 means automatically t greater than 0. 1. Minus t greater than or equal to 0 means automatically t less than or equal to 0. The bilateral Laplace transform of f of t is integral minus infinity to infinity e power minus h t f of t t. So this can be written as minus infinity to zero plus zero to infinity according to different integral properties. E power minus h t so here uh, you can write one more step minus infinity to infinity e power minus st f of t is e power t to u of minus t dt so this is e power minus st e power t minus infinity to zero means t less than zero. t less than zero the u of minus t value is one plus zero to infinity e power minus st into e power t. 0 to infinity means t greater than 0. Then u of minus t value is 0. So, definite integral 0 is 0. So, you will be getting simply minus infinity 0. a power m into a power n is a power m plus n. I can take minus common also. Minus of s minus 1 into t dt. So, I can write like this. Now, it looks like e power a t, t is a variable. a is equal to minus of s minus 1 constant. So, integration is e power minus of s minus 1 into t dividing by t quotient that is minus of s minus 1 between the limits minus infinity to 0. So, first substitute upper limit t is equal to 0 e power 0 value 1 and then lower limit with minus uh, putting t is equal to minus infinity. So, this becomes e power s minus 1 into infinity. If I take s minus 1 is equal to then only you will be getting e power minus infinity. And the term not containing the t keep outside. So that is minus 1 by s minus 1 into these two terms. This will happen if s minus 1 less than 0. So finally, e power 0 value 1, e power minus infinity value 0. This simplifies to 1 by s minus 1. I mean, minus. Okay. So, minus 1 by s minus 1 can also be written as 1 by 1 minus s. But 1 by 1 minus s is not an option. We should decide uh, yes. That means uh, less than 1, greater than 1. So, usually complex numbers, uh, we cannot compare greater than 1, less than 1, etc. A real number, we can say greater than 1, less than 1. So, here s is a parameter which may be real or complex. So, that means this is if s value less than 1, this s is nothing but real power. Real power. Okay. So, the answer is minus 1 by s minus 1 with the real part of s less than 1 accordingly the option is t is end of the question. The question is given a is equal to 2503 2 the value of the determinant a power 4 minus 5a cube plus 6a square plus 2i equal to. This question is from engineering mathematics from the topic linear algebra subtopic basics determinant. The solution is the so first we need to find a characteristic equation that means without finding a square a cube powers of a and then substituting here and then expanding the two by two derivative that is one way procedure but i am not doing by regular procedure of a square a cube i want to compare with the tally hamilton theorem that is every square matrix satisfied by its characteristic equation so the application is which is useful for finding higher powers of a a inverse and expressing in lower powers of a that is, if A is a 2 by 2 matrix, its higher powers, A square, A cube, A power 4, etc. can be expressed as a linear polynomial in A, okay, etc. So, characteristic CH means characteristic 
EQ means equation of A is determinant A minus lambda into Y is equal to G. That is determinant 2 minus lambda 5 0 3 minus lambda. Or for a 2 by 2 matrix, you can write directly the characteristic equation is lambda square minus lambda into sum of the diagonal elements plus determinant of the matrix equal to G. So this is 2 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda is equal to 0. Don't find lambda values. So multiply lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6 is equal to 0. So which implies A square minus 5A plus constant can be written as constant to identity matrix equal to null matrix O. This is obtained by Cali Hamilton theorem. Hence by Cali Hamilton theorem. Okay. So, but we have A power 4. Let us say this is equation 1. Now consider the matrix. A power 4 minus 5A cube plus 6A square plus 2Y. So, highest power of A power 4 here. In equation 1, highest power of A is A square. So, the difference is A square. Take out A square common. That means, take outside A square. Though 2Y doesn't contain A square, how I can adjust and rearrange the terms of this? A square into write all the three terms of equation one that is A square minus 5A plus 6I. And while multiplying the outside A square term with uh, one of these, that means with each of these inside terms, and compare with the corresponding left hand side that is compensate. The compensate means if it is more powers, then you should subtract. If it is less powers, then you should add. So, for example, A square into A square A power 4. Which is RHS here LHS A power 4. When it is safe, no adjustment. That is uh, no adding, no subtraction. Coming to the next term, A square into A with a minus 5, minus 5A five cube. Here also minus 5A cube. Now coming to A square term, A square into 6, 6A six square. Here also 6A square. So here the left side containing Y because left side equal to right side, we should add here. So this is 0. That means a square into 0, 0, 2 into y. Since by using equation, that is the advantage of Cali Hamilton theorem. If it is a 3 by 3 matrix, it will take more time or not. Finding a square, a cube, a power 4, etc. So, therefore, determinant a power 4 minus 5a cube plus 6a square plus 2y. Now this becomes determinant 2i. It looks like determinant of a where a is a scalar, a is a matrix, a power n into determinant a, where n is the order of the matrix. Here order of the matrix 2 by 2 matrix. So 2 square into determinant i. Since the properties of determinant, determinant k times into a, k to the power n, k raised to n into determinant a, where n is order of matrix A. So finally, for since determinant of identity matrix is always okay, or you can apply without characteristic equation Cali Hamilton theorem, the direct method that is finding a square a into a, a cube means a square into a, a power 4 means a square into a square or a cube into a, etc. Using that method also. So the answer is 4. This is end of the question. The question is consider the function f of x is equal to minus x square plus 10x plus 100. The minimum value of the function in the interval, close interval 5 comma 10 is. This question is from engineering mathematics. From the topic, calculus, that is differential calculus. The topic is maximum minimum in a closed interval AP, which is also called absolute or global maximum. But the question requires minimum value. So this interval, closed interval AB, comparing with solution, here A is equal to 
5 p is equal to 10 so this interval usually denoted by closed interval a comma p. first find local maximum minimum values and the minimum value in the closed interval ab is also called global minimum value which is obtained by minimum of local minimum values comma fa fb f of a and f of so first find f of a that is f of 5 minus 25 x is equal to 5 10 into 5 50 plus 100 so simplify is to 125 next f of b that is f of 10 10 square 100 n into 10 100 plus 100 so this simplifies to 100 next local maximum minimum procedure that is first step f dash x equal to 0 gives f dash x differentiation with respect to x minus x square derivative to minus 2x 10x derivative to 10 constant alone derivative to 0 so this simplifies to x is equal to 5 which belongs to the closure interval 5 comma 10 so this is only one stationary point so at this stationary point find the second derivative that is f double dash x so minus this is first derivative minus 2x derivative minus 2 plus 10 derivative 0 so luckily we are having second derivative a constant which is less than 0 implies f of x has second derivative less than 0 means local maximum at x is equal to 5 but we are requiring minimum value so this is not interested not considered So that means so in closure interval 5 comma 10 local minima does not exist because we got only one stationary point hence minimum value of f of x in closure interval a comma b phi comma 10 is minimum of f of a comma f of 10 comma all local minimum values but here local minimum does not exist so that is f of 5 125 f of 10 100 minimum of 125 comma 100 is 100 so here minimum value means global minimum value that is global minimum value so the answer is 100 this is end of the question the question is f of z is equal to z minus 1 whole to the power minus 1 minus 1 plus z minus 1 minus of z minus 1 whole square plus etc. Is the series expansion of four options a, b, c, d given? Each option containing the function along with the ROC region of convergence. This question is from engineering mathematics from the topic complex variables, subtopic series expansion that is Lorentz series, etc. Solution is. So this is answer. Now the question is one of the options. So we can verify by options method. Here observe all terms are powers of z minus 1. Here the expansion is
powers of z minus one. That is about z is equal to a, a value, the singular point that is one. That is the mean. That is why in all A, B, C, D options, the region of convergence is mod z minus one. Okay, now statement A f of z is equal to minus 1 by z minus 1. So, this is only negative power of one term only, one negative power. So, this is not true. B, f of z is equal to minus 1 by z times z minus 1. Already one factor is z minus 1, other factor z we can uh, rearrange or exist as is z minus 1 into that z can be written as 1 plus of z minus 1 that is adding subtracting 1 and shift this bracket into the numerator minus 1 by z minus 1 into 1 plus z minus 1 whole to the power minus 1. This can be written as minus 1 by z minus 1 into. Now it looks like 1 plus x whole power minus 1, that is 1 minus x plus x square, etc. So 1 minus of z minus 1 plus z minus 1 whole square minus. Such expansion is valid if mod x less than 1, that is mod z minus 1 less than 1. So in all a, b, c, d, this is the expansion condition, ROC. So now this simplifies to. Minus 1 by z minus 1 into 1 can be written as minus of z minus 1 whole power minus 1, which is not the first term of the equation 1. So, if I say this is equation 1, okay. I can write instead of not true. So, not equation 1. Now, this is equal to plus 1 minus of z minus 1 plus etc. So, this is also not equation 1. Now, see f of z is equal to. So, I am going by verifying the options 1 by whichever the option after getting or after using that standard expansions if you get the given equation one that option is the answer so z into z minus one which can be written as, as option b one by z minus one that z can be written as adding one subtracting one one plus z minus one so this can be written as one by z minus one into one plus z minus 1, whole to the power minus 1. Now, this can be written as 1 by z minus 1 into, it looks like 1 plus x whole power minus 1. This is 1 plus z minus 1, bracket close, and then the power minus 1. So, 1 minus of z minus 1 plus z minus 1 whole square minus 2. This expansion valid if mod z minus 1 less than 1. So, here also if mod z minus 1 less than 1. So, now uh, term by term separation uh, 1 by z minus 1 into 1 can written as z minus 1 whole to the power minus 1. And this is cancelled here minus 1 plus 1 z minus 1 cancelled remaining with z minus 1. Automatically, the next term is z minus 1 whole square because this is next term whole cube cancelled with 1 z minus 1. You will be getting this one plus x. So, uh, which is equation. Equation 1 means RHS of equation that is x. See this. Okay. So, accordingly, answer is. Option C. Okay. 
say if you feel by options method taking more time time consuming second method direct methods already given f of z how much 1 by z minus 1 minus 1 plus of z minus 1 minus of z minus 1 whole square plus x in all this i can take 1 by z minus 1 come after that plus 1 minus of z minus 1 plus of z minus 1 whole square minus of z minus 1 whole cube plus etc now it looks like 1 minus x plus x square etc 1 minus x i mean 1 plus x whole power minus 1 that is into 1 plus x that means plus z minus 1 to the power minus so 1 minus 1 cancel then z power minus 1 we can written as 1 by z that is finally 1 by z into z minus accordingly options things 1 plus x whole to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus 1 minus x plus x square One minus x plus x square minus x cube plus x. This is the binomial expansion if mod x less than. Okay. So here if mod z minus one less. Anyhow, in both methods we got answer one by z into z minus one accordingly. Option C. This is end of the question. The question is, consider that x and y are independent, continuous valued random variables with uniform PDF given by x follows uniformly 2, 3 and y follows uniformly distribution with parameters 1, 4. Then P of y less than or equal to x is equal to round up to two decimal places. So PDF means uniform probability density function. So here both are independent, continuous random variables. So, for example, see, uh, I am writing x follows 2 of 2 comma 3, which means that probability density function of such a random variable x, actually not required to write for this problem, but in a better way of understanding this notation, I am writing is equal to 1 upon b minus a, that is 1 by 3 minus 2, if 2 less than x less than Zero, otherwise, this is the way of writing the probability density function of the uniform random variable. Okay, it is uniform. So let us take x comma y values on x axis comma y axis respect so 2 to 3 1 2 so this is two dimensional graph 0 0 1 2 3 and this is 1 2 3 so this is y axis, x axis, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, uh, I am plotting these values. So, 2, 2, 3, and this is 1, 2, 4. Okay, so y less than or equal to x means y value less than x and y is equal to x. Y is equal to x means is a straight line 
passing through RNA. I will draw the diagram in a neat way. So here, capital Y is equal to capital X is a straight line passing through huh. passing through origin passing through origin and y less than x that is the region inside the triangle. So, 2 to 4, 1 to 3. This is the coincidence of 2 comma 1. And this point, this point, this point joint, we will be getting a rectangular region containing x values 2 to 3, y values 1 to 4. So usually y is a straight line passing through origin. So this is a straight line passing through origin. So I am uh, writing the pointer of intersection by some other color. So this is capital Y is equal to capital X. You know this point A and this is point B, this is point C, this is C, D, this is E and this is F. So y less than x means the region below this line that is the rectangular region and below this y is equal to x the shaded region here Rectangle is total possible cases and shaded region is favorable outcomes, that is favorable cases, it is a continuous. Therefore, probability of y less than record x is equal to area of that favorable outcomes is a technicum. Two sides are parallel. A, B, C, F divided by the rectangle that is A, B, C, D. Area of rectangle A, B, D, E. Area of a rectangle is length into front. Area of a trapezium is H by A plus B. Here A and B are the two parallel sides length. It is the height distance between two parallel sides, which is from our childhood classes, half into the height, which is nothing but AP or ED, into A plus B, that is AF length, 
प्लस बी सी डिवाइड बाई लेंथ इंटू ब्रेड ए बी इंटू बी डी सो ए बी ए बी कैंसिल बी डी वैल्यू दट इज फोर माइनस वन थ्री ए एफ वैल्यू विच इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द ग्राफ वन यूनिट ई सी वैल्यू सो ये ए बी वन यूनिट ए एफ वन यूनिट बी सी टू यूनिट्स बी डी थ्री यूनिट्स so finally half times 1 plus 2 divided by ab ab cancel bd value 3 so we will be getting 1 by 2 so because it is a numeric question answer is 0.5 so when both here x and y are uniformly independent random variables so automatically sum of two independent random variables is also that is uh, uh, here the properties of uh, binomial poisson uniform normal if you refer that you can easy to do that problem but here according to the diagram it is easy to get this property by comparing with areas actually when it is a continuous variables such a probability problems are obtained by integration method when discrete random variables such a probability problems are obtained by double summation here two with two random variables here double integral problem because continuous random variable but without integrations i gone through this way by diagrammatic approach that is area approach so finally the answer is 0.5 this is end of the question very very important this question the question is let f of z is equal to 1 by x square plus 6z plus 9 defined in the complex plane The integral integral over c f of z dz over the contour of a circle c with a center at the origin and unit radius e. This question is from engineering mathematics from the topic complex variables sub topic complex integration. The solution is this is function this is closure curve contour curve integral circle center at origin. Unit radius. Equation C is mod z minus a is equal to r. R value one, a value center three. So that is mod z is equal to. Now find the singular points of the given integrand f of z. The singular points all outside the curve. Then apply Cauchy integral theorem. Answer is zero. If any singular point lies inside the curve. Either apply Cauchy integral formula or Cauchy residue theorem, depending on the uh, singular points. Uh, one singular point or more singular points lies inside the curve. So now, y square plus x z plus nine equal to zero. This is a perfect square. Y plus three whole square equal to zero. implies z is equal to multiple root that is repeated root or the singular points both repeat coincide and coincide both z values now how do you check lies inside outside substitute the singular points one by one in the curvy equation We will be having a left hand side a number, right hand side a number. When left hand side value greater than right hand side value, such a singular point lies outside the curve. When a left hand side value less than right hand side value, such a singular point lies inside the curve. For example, here both are equal. Put z is equal to minus three in the curve equation. Mod minus three is plus three. So three is the left hand side value. Right hand side value already existing one. So three greater than one. So both. Lies outside when all singular point lies outside. So the function f of z that is integrand is analytic and on C. imply f of z is analytic at every point z inside 
and on a closure curve C that is here, sir. Therefore, by Cauchy's integral theorem, comma, integral over C f of z dz is equal to g. So the answer is zero. This is the end of the question. The question is consider the sequence xn is equal to 0 0.5 xn minus 1 plus 1, comma n is equal to 1, comma 2, etc. If x naught is equal to 0, then limit n tends to infinity xn is four options a, b, c, d given. This question is from engineering mathematics from the topic basics or calculus or some other series, etc. This is a basics level question. Solution is because there is a limit we can compare with calculus, differential calculus that is subtopic is limit uh, given. Uh, okay. Uh, usually according to the options, more options are finite. So what I am taking? Let limit n tends to infinity x n. Here x n is the given sequence is equal to some alpha where alpha is a finite let me check finite value getting up automatically limit n tends to infinity its preceding term x n minus 1 which is also tending to alpha only. okay because this is unlimited n tends to infinity so given sequence this is xn is the nth term, xn minus 1 is the n minus 1 term. Sequence series from BTEC first year also we can compare. xn is equal to 0 0.5 times xn minus 1 plus 1. So applying the limit on both sides, applies limit of xn as n tends to infinity is equal to constant multiple. That is, when a constant is multiplying, it will not affect by limits. So, I can put outside 0 0.5 outside limit n tends to infinity of the term x n minus 1 plus limit of a constant is itself. Since limit n tends to infinity k is equal to k, where k is constant. So, this is alpha we took is equal to 0.5 into alpha plus 1 okay so this simplifies to bring all alpha terms to one side so alpha minus 0.5 alpha is equal to 1 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5 so 0.5 alpha is equal to 1 so alpha is equal to 1 by 0 0.5 0 0.5 is 1 by 2 so this simplifies to 2 which is a finite. Okay. So if you are getting this alpha value infinity, then this uh, assumption that is in the first step, let alpha be infinity. So alpha is a value, constant value, maybe finite or infinite. Okay. So when this limit value, nth term limit value is finite, that is usually in the series or sequence is convergent, uh, that is limit extent n tends to infinity is equal to 0. Um, where we study it. Whenever limit is equal to a finite, we can't say that is convergent or divergent. Maybe diverges, maybe converges or oscillatory, etc. But we don't interest this type of convergent divergence asking about just limit and tension with x. So the answer is two. This is the end of the question accordingly. Option A.